going to select my gradient mesh, I'm going to lock it. Because if you copy your gradient mesh, it just doesn't work properly. So I'm going to copy the original carbon fiber piece. I'm going to hit copy, paste. And let's move that down here. And what I want to do with this shape is I want to create a, a curve. And that's where our reflection is going to happen. So I'm going to go and with my pen tool, I'm just going to create a simple line. And again, depending on how you want your reflection to look, what curve you want to follow, um, yours to be a little bit different than with the shape I'm doing. So I'm going to actually get rid of the fill because it's being filled with carbon fiber. Okay. Now I'm going to deselect everything and then select both of these shapes at the same time. And with my Pathfinder tool, window open, the Pathfinder divide tool, click on that and you can just see the, the extensions went away and we've cut this big shape into two pieces but currently they're grouped together. So you want to ungroup. Now they're two separate pieces. So you can kind of see, I take this and I'll drag that down there. They're two separate pieces. Now let's go ahead and take this shape and let's just fill it with a simple color. And I'm gonna, again, go with my, I'm gonna select this shape which corresponds to the same shape up here. This one doesn't because I just created a curve so this is a unique point now, but this is similar to the shape below. So we're going to go and I'm going to drag that up here and it's going to snap in place. There we go. This one we can delete for now. All right, so now we have our shapes here. And the reason it's yellow is because I want to emphasize that we're going to add a white highlight all in this area above. And then the rest is going to be just the natural carbon fiber showing through. Now, creating a fade. What we want to do here is I'm going to create a shape, an elliptical shape. Let's let's fill this with I'm going to fill it with a <clears throat> I'm going to fill it with a, a light gray color. But we will go back and, and end up changing this to white. Actually, let's do this instead. Let's make a background shape so you can see what's going on here. And Let's arrange that and send that all the way to the back. Okay, so now this shape is all the way to the back. Let's find our shape here. Let's make that white. Okay, now we'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm going to copy and paste a new shape. And what I'm gonna do with this one is, I want to, you know, you can rotate this, um, change it, uh, move the, shape however you want so 